Hello and welcome to our beauty, lifestyle and fashion show. David O. Sparks Grammy Conversations with new collaboration with Angelique Kijo. Upbeat Wendy Williams spotted for the first time in more than a year at New Jersey Holistic Store. Joe Jonas claims he's not putting ex-wife Sophie Turner on blast with new music. Primark launches ghostly new Beetlejuice fashion collection. And in our trending segment, David O has announced an upcoming single with five-time Grammy winner Angelique Kijo on August 26, 2024. David O took to his ex, formerly Twitter page, to announce his latest collaboration titled Joy with Angelique Kijo. The song featuring the Benny Noyes music legend will be released on Friday, August 30, 2024. David's announcement has sparked conversations over his desire to edge his Grammy chances through collaboration with the five-time winner. The fact that the single is also set to drop on the date of the Grammy entry deadline for 2024 added to the speculation that Dave Vito has had his eyes on the golden gramophone. Dave Vito made his Grammy mark in 2023 when he was nominated for Best Global Album for his record-breaking fourth album, Timeless. Best Global Song for Performance for Feel and Best African Song Performance for Unavailable Future and Musa Keys. Hey. I'm so excited yeah, about yeah, this. Like, yeah. you know, I think you think this is a chance to win the Grammy. He deserves one. I mean, come oh. on. Whiskey has one. Bonoboy has one. So let's make it official. Let's add the video to the mix. He's been yeah, they give it us hits. Yeah. And, you know, I'm really excited for this one. I'm Me looking too. forward to it. And Angelique Kijo is such a legend. Such right? a legend, yes. She's a five time Grammy Award yes, winner. That's yes, a huge yes, feat. Yes. And she's African. Has she done a song with David before? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, I think okay. she did a song with David Do. And no, she did a song with David Doe okay. and the caveman. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Namoni, Namoni, okay, Namoni. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I like the song. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So they had that song. You okay. didn't catch anything. So let's, let's just keep our fingers okay. crossed. Fingers crossed. David Doe, <laughs> best of luck. Yes. And in our spotted segment, Wendy Williams was spotted for the first time in over a year at a holistic store in New Jersey. An employee at Bolingo Balance in the work stated that the former Wendy Williams show star visited the shop which is run by the late Dr. Sebi's son, Victor Bowman, about a week ago with her son. We are told Williams was sharp, upbeat, and aware, and very bubbly during the visit. She even had a sit down with Bowman to discuss the health products. Williams has been keeping a low profile since March 2023, which is the last time she was publicly photographed. I mean, this is good news for oh, Wendy because I mean, that lady has been through hell and back. A lot of people say it's her karma. I know, <laughs> but you know, being a show host is not easy. Mm -hmm. This is our job. It's yeah, not easy it to is. be honest because yeah. at the end of the day, you still call some people yes, out. You can't, yes, you know, yes. you can't, you can't really give favor to everyone. Yeah, you're right. You, you're you right. give some people hits yeah. and then you favor some people. And you know, a lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of people are happy that she's having some kind of health issues because of they keep saying that it's her karma that she was so mean to people people that she talk about people mm -hmm. this and that but they didn't understand that's her that was her job that's her job you know even though wendy sometimes goes to the extreme <laughs> she does. especially to make fun of people she does she right? does she, she does, does that but i mean that's what the show was about yeah. it was interesting without that i don't think we'd have a yeah. very good wedding yeah. show to talk about yeah but you know health issues but it's good that she's back now and she's yeah. looking really sharp oh right? you know dr mm -hmm. sebi i don't know if you know about him mm -hmm. no, there's a guy on instagram he died or something mm -hmm. there's some kind of a lot of rumors going around mm -hmm. that they killed him because he knew the the the, the cure to cancer Answer to a lot of Ooh. things using a lot of a lot of organic okay. earthly things. Mm -hmm. So they said they killed. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I wonder what her. So what's the connection? With making up with him, I'm mm -hmm. sure there's some health powers that she wants to use Ooh. to help her out. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Dr. Sebi's very mm -hmm. big on social media. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. great. That's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. So let's hope that you know Wendy comes back, Helen Kiki. Do you think she's gonna you know go back to hosting the show again? I don't think so. I think she's right. too fragile. Mm, she needs to take a break. Yeah. A long break. A long that. break. Like finish. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to take over. Yeah. Yeah. And on to our editorial segment, Joe Jonas isn't airing his dirty laundry with ex-wife Sophie Turner following their divorce. The Cake by the Ocean singer got candid about the therapeutic process of making his forthcoming solo album, Music for People Who Believe in Love, following his split from the Game of Thrones album last year. It was scary at times and also freeing, he said in an interview published on Monday. I've got two beautiful kids, he continued, referring to daughters Willie and Delphine, whom he shares with Turner. I'm a happy person and the music needed to resemble that. But also the journey to get here, Jonas added. The 35-year-old pop star recently described the album, which will be released August 18, as his most personal music yet. 
Do you think you know that song about the wife? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, they were such a cute couple. I so was cute. really rooting for them. What is going too. on in Hollywood? Nobody stays together. Like, what is going on? It's like every day there's one divorce or the other. Even those who you think are actually like really yeah. great couples. Yeah. I think the only person I feel like has never gotten divorced is Beyonce and Jay-Z. That and Denzel Washington, his wife. Right. They've been together for a long time. time. Yes, yeah. yeah. And do you know another couple I was really rooting mm. for? Kim Kardashian and oh, Kanye. Girl. I never saw that girl. Divorce I knew that was gonna I knew they were gonna separate. No way, I didn't see it. Because coming. Kanye is like a like a ticking time bomb. Mm -hmm. You know, Kim and everything they do is like I think everything they do is every is, everything is scripted, everything is like mm. done and he was too much of an outburst person for right. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you know Kanye is crazy girl. I know he's <laughs> crazy, but I was really rooting for them. You know, they had such chemistry. They were friends even before they dated. Yeah. But now back to Sophie Turner and you know Joe Jonas. I don't really know what's going on, but I mean he has come to say, Oh, the song's not about his ex. So let's just take his word for it. Yeah. Just leave it. Too much divorce, like yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And in our new collection, Primark and Warner Brothers have teamed up to create a new fashion collection ahead of the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice release on 6 September. As part of the collaboration which revives the 1988 dark fantasy cult classic, the retailer has worked with Warner Bros. Entertainment and Oscar-winning costume designer Colleen Atwood to create a limited edition collection. Directed by Tim Burton and acting as a sequel to the 1988, Beetlejuice will see the return of the original cast, including Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice, Wiona Ryder as Lydia Dietz, and Catherine O'Hara as Delia Dietz. The film's release is set to be the biggest global marketing event of the year, with fashion collaboration with Forever 21 and Target to come. Girl, I am in there like mm. swimwear. First of all, I love Beetlejuice when it first came out. I was mm. very scared at that mm -hmm. point. But I'm, I wonder what they're going to do different. And for them to call Beetlejuice, the yeah. collection Beetlejuice, mm -hmm. I think that's so catchy. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you know what I was saying? You know, so interesting. Yeah, I love that. And um, then collaborating with Warner Bros. Yes. Warner Bros. is such a big and huge, you know, yes. uh, company in Hollywood. And yes. they make hits. Yes. And then they've also involved, you know, a lot of superstars yes. also in this collaboration. So I can't wait to see what they me have. Too, me too, me too. Yeah. We're going to go see the movie together when it comes out. Mm. <laughs> EJ, you promised me so many movies. I know, right? <laughs> I got you. I got you, girl. So now, on to our spicy or not. Kate Middleton made a rare outing with Prince William and Prince George on Sunday as she headed to church services near Balmoral Castle in Scotland. The Princess of Wales, who is taking time off from the royal duties to recover from cancer treatment, spared the same outfit she wore to services at Curry Kirk Church in 2023, wearing a tan Holland Cooper trench coat and feather trimmed Hicks and Brown fedora. I always tell people, <laughs> don't tell me that I cannot repeat my outfit. I swear. <laughs> if Kate Middleton can repeat her outfit, Adele <laughs> and EJ Kimura can. Can, exactly. Just put on, like, exactly. Just style it up. I think yeah, it's just right? how you style it up. You know, mix and match. Yeah. Add some accessories mm -hmm. if possible. Maybe mm -hmm. a hat, yeah. a belt, yeah. a watch, some glasses, a yeah. exactly. <laughs> So please, don't tell me I cannot repeat my outfit. I mean, it's how you rock it and how you put it together. Yes. And roll it together. Yes. That makes an outfit become really elegant and classy. I love and, it. And you know, being a queen and all of that, it's mm -hmm. all about elegance. Yeah. And poise, so. I guess people won't think that she'll mm -hmm. repeat it because of she's a queen and yeah, she has access to money exactly. and different kind of clothes. Don't tell me I cannot <laughs> She killed it. She looks really nice, really elegant as a queen that she is. Yes. Don't forget to catch us up on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye. Bye.